A few years ago, Scott Farnsworth, a graduate student at Towson University in Maryland, was sent to this wooded park in Maryland to relocate box turtles safely away from a new highway. When I first started here, this wasn't here at all. <laughs> Farnsworth and his team tack 100 turtles with radio transmitters. But then the reptiles started turning up dead. And not just turtles, they began seeing massive die-offs of toads, young frogs called tadpoles and salamanders. Lab analysis showed the culprit was the ranavirus, a class of viruses that mostly infect cold-blooded animals. It's pretty quick. We can go from seeing no outward signs to having complete mortalities of all of the ones in the pond within a few days. While amphibians die within hours of infection, box turtles like this one can survive as long as a month. A lab test showed the animal dies struggling to breathe. Ranavirus often infects amphibians during their egg and juvenile stages, leaving them unable to swim, but it affects only adult turtles. It can send them on that glide path towards extinction. Farnsworth carefully checks for signs of life at a pond where all the animals died last year. Right here we have a spotted salamander eggs. In this pond, a device records water temperature every hour so scientists can correlate the temperature to evidence of the virus. Nearby, farms would find salamanders developing their legs. And we also look to see how they're swimming. For now, they look fine. In a few weeks, the virus could show up again. Scientists don't know much about ranavirus or how to eliminate it. If this continues the way we've seen it, this could be devastating to several species. When a group of animals dies in large numbers, the animals that feed on them also decline. And the species that were food for them such as mosquitoes and insects, flourish. David Green is an animal disease specialist at the National Wildlife Health Center of the U.S. Geological Survey. Ronavirus infection in, in wild and captive amphibians is a very serious disease. When the, uh, the infection shows up in a wetland uh, that has tadpoles and salamander larvae, uh, we expect uh, nearly 100% of the animals will be killed in that wetland. Green says scientists have reported ranavirus in 25 U.S. states and in several other countries. He predicts it will take years before scientists are able to control it. Meanwhile, after a long day of study, Scott Farnsworth heads home. On his way, he checks on the red-backed salamanders. For now, they look okay. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News, Maryland. He seems to be doing fine. Mm-hmm.